Monday is Wednesday, April 7th. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I had a pretty good weekend. Monday, I spent the day making quite a few TikToks. I'm trying to stay on top of my TikTok game because sometimes I'll just kind of let it go and I kind of get a little lazy and yeah. So I'm trying my best to make sure that so I stay on top of that. Today, I'm going to get my glasses later this evening and I'm really, really excited about that. I haven't had new glasses in a while. I also hope you guys had a good Easter. Had a pretty good Easter. Went to go see my mother-in-law and father-in-law and she gave us some chocolate bunnies and it was nice just talking to them for a little bit. We had to stay outside though, of course, because we're in lockdown again, unfortunately. Not too long ago, everything opened back up and then they made our curfews a little longer. And not too long ago, they took everything back because one place decided that they didn't want to follow the rules. And screwed it up for everyone. That's one place they don't want to follow the rules, everyone else has to suffer for it. It's like a huge group project you don't want to be a part of. Today, we are going to make some badge buttons. I recorded a little bit yesterday talking about the badge buttons and I'll insert them after this. But yesterday after I recorded a little bit, we went to the grocery store, we came back, and I honestly just didn't feel like recording anymore, so I did it. I'm thinking we might try to make some magnetic bookmarks, so let's get started. So if you guys have never made badge buttons before, I'm just going to show you guys this real quick before I start making my designs. Right here is a template and there's a green circle, a red circle, a gray circle, and then there's this big black circle here. Anything within this green circle, you'll see on the badge button. And then the red circle kind of folds over a little bit at the bottom of the button so anything below the green circle past this red it's not going to be on the button it's a really really easy template after that you just put a background to cover the whole circle and then you cut it out and then that's pretty much it so yeah let's get to creating a few designs to turn into new badge buttons finished making the buttons I decided to cut the circles out with my silhouette which I usually don't do usually I just cut it by hand because I don't mind but I found that <laughs> because I did that some of the art is off center see here it's like a little bit to the left too much you can tell this one too is a little to the left too much so I guess next time I just won't make the circles as small because then when I put the plastic on top it kind of moves it a little bit because the circle is smaller than the hole here so when I put the plastic on top the paper moves around a little bit I guess if I sell them I could sell them at seconds 
then we have some egg ones and then we have some sun ones i tried it out on the captain froggo and mushroom cud button and i don't know if this works or not as you can see the circle looks like this so it's not printed all around it because you don't really need to have it printed all around but you do have to have it outside of the colored circles and it ends up looking something like this i mean it kind of looks cute on the camera yeah so i think that's too dark so we won't make any more of these and i'll just keep this for myself <laughs> I just put this together on a fire pekka. I'm gonna try to make magnetic bookmarks. I'm planning to print this on glossy photo paper because laminating on glossy photo paper is really good because it adheres really well to it. And we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it turns out well. So yeah, let's try it out. So this is how it's going so far because i laminated the photo paper it really thick so my silhouette was having trouble cutting it i did buy these blades off of amazon which is apparently better than the auto blade that the silhouette has so i have to try them but there's a learning curve so i'll probably try that later i was only able to save half the ones that i made like this half looks good so we have three of the quiet animals and three of the pond friends this sheet right here i laminated in both the front and the back but as you can see here even though i cut it several times my silhouette just couldn't cut past the back part of the laminate when you send something to cut again in your silhouette machine if for some reason it doesn't cut all the way you should always grab it back out and then stick it back in for this one in particular i didn't take it back out and the cuts got all messed up so this is the first time i did this and i didn't pull the paper out and reinsert it make sure if you're going to recut pull it back out and put it back in i did it the right way with these and these cut out fine even though i had to cut them multiple times and then i was testing some magnets I have but these ones aren't strong enough and this one here they're smaller but they're a little bit better and as you can see here these are the damaged ones that I'm trying this on this has been its own adventure and basically I just need to get better magnets like these don't stay on well the two different magnets I have so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold these and put them under something heavy so they will stay flat. And I'll just have to order some magnets. <music>
So I just tried these magnets again. These are some rectangle magnets and there's like 200 pieces. And I tried it again, this time with the bookmark that I ran through the laminator to flatten it. And it actually seems to work really well when I put two of them together. And I put it on this. It's just a paper that came with the cardstock telling details of the cardstock that I bought. I put it on there, it stops on really nice. It doesn't really move either, which is really nice. So I guess I can use these as long as I use two of them. And this is the cardstock, and it's thicker. It stays on there as well. And it's not, it's not as strong as the thinner paper, of course, but it still stays on there pretty well, but it does come off. But I don't think anyone is going to use this bookmark on a 300 GSM cardstock. Yeah, I think this is what I'm going to go with. Hello everyone, today is Thursday, April 8th, and as you can see, I have some new glasses i got them yesterday evening and i'm still getting used to how i look in them it looks really weird to me because i've never had glasses like that were this wide i'm usually have the small rectangular glasses like my previous pair i feel kind of weird my husband says i look more mature so today's goal is to finish up the magnetic bookmarks that i was working on yesterday they took a little longer to figure out than i thought it would because my portrait was having a hard time cutting through the papers. After testing that for a while, it still had a little bit of a problem, but I have an idea for the next time I make them. But for now, we're going to finish up the ones that we have. Last night, I worked on packaging for the magnetic bookmarks. So we're going to get those printed and cut. I finally made another order with Sticker Mural. I know there's some pros and cons to ordering from Sticker Mural. But I finally decided to just go ahead and go with it. So last night I ordered two new acrylic keychain designs and one acrylic pen design. So hopefully they will turn out well. They're expected to get here in two weeks. So I will have to do the shop update around the end of April. Because I also will have to take the time to put UV resin on the back of all of that stuff. It's going to be kind of close to the end of April when the next shop update happens. Also, the Fruits Basket last season, the final season, is finally on Crunchyroll, like the first episode. So if you guys are Fruits Basket fans like me, then make sure you guys go watch it. Because we're watching it later because I forgot that I think they come out every Monday. So yeah, the first episode for that. So go check it out if you like Fruits Basket like me. Okay, let's get started.
So now the bookmarks are done, they're put away, and I was just writing in my notebook. I have a little notebook where I put down the cost of each item that I make for my Etsy shop. That way I know how to price them. If you don't have one of those, you probably should be doing that because you want to make sure that you're profiting when you're selling your stuff. Because if you're not profiting, then there's no point opening a small business because you're not making money off of it. Also, I know we have the tendency as small businesses to want to bring our prices down because our price of an item might be more costly than another small business's cost and we kind of want to match it or be below that cost. But don't sell yourself short because if you're not making a profit, you can't keep your business up. So don't do that to yourself. Make sure you're making a profit. So now that that is done, I'm going to make some little bows that are going to go on my acrylic keychains that are coming in two weeks. I am going to be using this green and white ribbon that I've had for a really, really long time. And I'm also going to be using this gold ribbon. It has glitter on it, but the glitter doesn't come off or it doesn't come off easily off of this ribbon. So I'm just going to make a few so that way they're ready once the acrylic keychains come in because once the acrylic keychains come in, I have to resin the box and it's going to be really, really close to the shop update. I haven't made a plan for the date for the next shop update, but I'll have to look at that later and see what would work for me. Let's get started on making some bows. Mm -hmm. 